So, Rise of Skywalker. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I wanted to give my review on it anyway because uh, we've done all the other ones, so we might as well do this one. Uh, so, my initial thoughts on the movie are, I liked it. I liked the movie, but I'm someone that can also like a Transformers movie for what it is. I don't watch a Transformers movie for uh, a brilliant cinema cinematic masterpiece. I watch it for robots transforming, doing cool shit, fighting other robots, explosions. Uh, same thing goes with Star Wars. I don't really watch Star Wars for super sharp script writing that doesn't have holes in it. Uh, I don't watch it for that. I watch it for cool Star Wars stuff. And this movie ultimately delivered on cool Star Wars stuff. However, uh, this is a movie that the more you watch it, the more you will hate it. At this point, I have only seen the movie one time, and hopefully it's going to stay that way because my opinion of the movie will probably only get worse the more I see it. I do not see this being a movie that you uh, enjoy it more the second time around. In fact, quite the opposite. Uh, this is a movie where if you sit there and question, why did they do this? Why did that happen like that? How come they didn't do this instead of that? There's a ton of that in this movie. If you, you can blow holes all in this movie... Uh, God only knows what you'll see the second time you, you view it. Um, so, with all that being said, though, I like the movie. It's an insane Star Wars movie. Probably the most insane Star Wars movie in terms of tons of things happening, tons of crazy things happening. Uh, it's a two and a half hour long movie. It's a very long movie, and it could have been longer. In fact, I wish it was longer because there's so much stuff that happens in this movie there are points where you wish that they would have had more time to explore certain details that sort of just happen really fast. And you're like, well, what the fuck? Like, really? Ben Solo had one line and it was, ow? Like, come on, man. Like, I think everybody wanted to see more Ben Solo than, than we got. So, uh, the biggest issue with this movie, hands down, and it's not even an issue with this movie... Specifically, it's it's the trilogy, dude. The Last Jedi existing is the biggest hamstring to this movie. And this movie is a masterpiece considering the fucking disaster that they had to clean up while making this movie. Uh, the Last Jedi existing is is probably the biggest critique of this movie. As fucked up as that is to say. Um, they had to... The whole trilogy, they could just skip The Last Jedi entirely, and would really anything have happened? Like, would there, would there really be any difference if we just went from The Force Awakens to Rise of Skywalker? Would, would there, is, did anything happen at all? No. Uh, so, this movie did a lot of uh, basically just shitting on The Last Jedi completely, like retconning all the story stuff that The Last Jedi said, like the big one being Ray's parents. We're nobody. So, coming out of The Last Jedi, we we're like, oh, Ray's parents, nobody. But she's just a nobody that happens to be good with Force, whatever. And I kind of like that as a storyline. Like, I, I really hate that Star Wars is, like, two fucking families. I hate that it's all about the Skywalkers. It's really annoying. I've never liked that. Um, so, I kind of like that Ray was not part of one of the, like, gilded families or whatever. Now, it turns out her, her parents were nobody, but they were somebody that chose to be nobody. Like, it, it's so, like, really? Come on, man. Like, we know that you guys had to do that because the last shot I was trash, but fuck, that just sounds, that just feels shitty. So, that was dumb. Uh, many things, like, it, like they even wrote off entire characters, like that one, um, what's her name? The the Asian girl? Like, they, were, they, they literally give her character a pat on the back. They're like, hey, just stay here. Like, that, that's all she does the whole movie. Like, that, like she's like, I want to go on the adventure with you guys. And they're like, nah, you stay here. Nah, we need you to stay here off screen. Like, everything about this movie was just telling The Last Jedi to go fuck itself. Oh, and, and I forgot the lightsaber throw scene. So in The Last Jedi, you know, uh, Luke Skywalker infam infamously throws his lightsaber behind his back. Well, in this movie, Rey goes to throw her lightsaber away and force Luke catches the lightsaber and goes... No, you don't want to do that. Like, come on, dude. Come, come the fuck on. So, um, yeah, that was funny. Um, big thing I did like about this movie, though. Uh, I predicted the twist ending. By the way, I predicted the twist ending of Ray being a Palpatine back in 2017. Get on my level. But anyway, uh, I missed an entire point. So, this trilogy, I think when everybody... When, when people saw that Disney bought Marvel, or Disney bought Star Wars. 
we were hoping that we were going to get the Marvel treatment with Star Wars. Like, I'm not somebody that is, that like, oh, I don't want them to put out Star Wars movies all the time, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I am the opposite, bro. Give me a Star Wars movie like you give me a Marvel movie. As long as they're good, I'll go fucking see them. I like that Marvel cranks out movies. I like that we got the, uh, the 10 years of insanity with Marvel that ultimately culminated in Endgame. I thought that was awesome. I like all those movies for the most part. I want them to do that with Star Wars. However... They didn't do that with Star Wars. With Star Wars, everything's a big fucking mess and is retarded. So, if they could do Star Wars like they do Marvel, I think a lot of people would be happy. They'd be making a lot of money. Um, anyway, uh, back on to the movie. Um, the action scenes were very good. And there were a lot of them. I quite enjoyed the action scenes in this movie. Unlike The Last Jedi, which was a boring piece of trash, this movie... Even if there's some dumb parts, even even if you think all of the dialogue is stupid and everything else is stupid, there are a lot of really cool action scenes, and there are a lot of them. So, I like that. Maybe I'm simple-minded. Whatever. I think that's neat. Uh, the characters in this are insane. The power levels of the characters are fucking crazy. You got stormtroopers flying around. You got... Uh, the Force characters are absurd. I mean, we're talking, like, if any of you guys have played the Force Unleashed video games, this is Force Unleashed the movie. Uh, you got characters pulling starships out, like, out of fucking hyperspeed and shit. Like, come on, man. That, it's, it is insane, which I like. I am a fan of that. I know some people like the, uh, the, the old, um... 70s Jedis where they like, you know, the older movies where they hardly do anything and it's very subtle. This movie, dude, Palpatine, and there's quite literally a Super Saiyan battle at the end where all of the power of all of the Jedis goes against all of the power of all of the Sith, and they fucking... Palpatine is shooting lightning and killing an entire planet with lightning. It's fucking crazy. So, I, I like that, though. I'm, I'm a fan of crazy, powerful Force people. Uh, maybe not all the time, but if it happens, it happens, and I'm okay with it. Um... The, the Emperor being back, again, all of these bullet points are in no particular order. Uh, okay, like, uh, I think they just had to do it. The Emperor is much is a lot like the Force. Like, anything that's retarded in Star Wars, they can just be like, oh, the Force. Like, perfect example, um, when they find the dagger on the desert planet, and the only reason they find the dagger is because they get blown up by the stormtroopers in the exact spot where the quicksand is, where they get sucked into the cave where the dagger just happens to be that they were looking for. The Force. Like, that's the explanation for that, I guess. Um, same thing with the Emperor, dude. If anything is retarded... Like, it, they, they dug themselves into, like, a retarded corner with The Last Jedi. And the only way you can unfuck that is be like, ah, the Emperor. Because he's basically dark, dark Jesus and can do anything because he's the most powerful character in the history of Star Wars. Um, so, the Emperor is back in this movie. Uh, okay. Um, and he... Has an evil dark planet that we never knew about, and he has somehow created destroyers that have Death Star, mobile Death Stars that are the size of ships that can destroy planets. And he's got like 50 of them that he has created with his faction of people that came out of nowhere that is never explained. That okay, uh, anyway, the logistics of Palpatine's force is interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is Star Wars. We got to forgive that. Whatever. Um, but he's back. And instead of the First Order, it's the Final Order. Which, okay. Uh, uh, man, that's just not... Doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good. The Final Order? Even when they said, even when he said that in the, in the theater, I was like, the Final Order? Ugh. Ugh. Um, so... Emperor's, I'll be honest, kind of fucking lame. Uh, Kylo Ren is fantastic. Uh, I wish there was more of him. I wish we got to see him more as Ben Solo, uh, the good guy. Um, I thought that was fucking neat. Again, two and a half hour movie. Lots of stuff going on. I wish that was one of the uh, plot points we got to see more of rather than uh, desert um, fucking Bonnaroo or whatever that scene was. Uh, okay. Um C-3PO is uh, surprisingly very good in this movie. Uh, a big surprise, lots of funny mo uh, moments, lots of like kind of touching moments from typically a, an annoying, irrelevant character uh, was one of the best characters in this movie, which was kind of nice. Uh, that was neat. Um, 
this movie in general sort of invalidates the first six. I mean, Star Wars has been, in my opinion, Star Wars has always been the story of Anakin Skywalker. That's sort of always been the main the main storyline of Star Wars has always been about Anakin Skywalker. I feel like Luke Skywalker is almost a tool to tell the story of Anakin Skywalker. I feel like that's the real story. The story of Anakin Skywalker. This great fucking, you know, amount of potential that goes bad. That ultimately has a redeeming moment. And and that's the story of Star Wars, in my opinion. Uh, and everything else just sort of bends the will to tell the story around that. Um... And this sort of invalidates all that. I mean, this, the fucking Palpatine being alive again, it's just like, really? So Vader, the thing didn't really matter. And uh, Palpatine is like this thing now that is, Palpatine is like a, a being. Like Palpatine is like a, uh, a deity, basically. They possess his bodies. And I mean, I know this is like extended universe stuff that, that happened too, but Disney retconned that, but then they didn't retcon that, and now we're here, so okay. Um, so Palpatine is now this deity that is a is more of a state of mind, I guess, than a, than a real thing. So he creates different versions of himself. I don't know, dude. The whole thing's fucking crazy. Um, so th th this is not Star Wars is not the story of Anakin Skywalker anymore. Uh, his entire story arc has kind of been made. Uh, his whole sacrifice is kind of didn't mean shit. Apparently, uh, and the, the 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 amount of power that is coming out of these New Age Jedi with Rey and uh, Palpatine is, is just dwarfing. Like, like the amount of power creep in the Star Wars universe is insane. So, we are at fucking crazy power levels. Um, Rey, okay, bro. If you thought Rey was a Mary Sue, she is now literally Jesus fucking Christ in this movie. And I don't. I'm not somebody that absolutely hates that, but. Man, she, she doesn't get banged up at all. Like, at all. Like, I'm okay with, like, Anakin Skywalker was straight up just a fucking, like, the most godly Jedi of all time. Like, if, compared to everybody else, if Anakin Skywalker didn't do the high ground thing, like, he'd have just, he'd have owned everybody. But even he got beat up some, right? I mean, he lost his hand, he got fucked up by, uh, Dooku. I mean, like, even he had a few battles where, like, things didn't always go his way. Like, at least he sort of was challenged. Um, Luke Skywalker, at least he was sort of challenged. He didn't win every fucking fight. But Rey, holy shit. Like, she just wins. Like, she's the fucking the, the Floyd Mayweather of Star Wars. Just can't fucking lose. And you want to see her lose, but she doesn't fucking lose. So I was kind of hoping she would have died. Or there would be some sort of consequence. Or something would happen where she would, like, not win. But no, she wins. And literally brings people back to life. Um... All right, um, so that's, ugh. the, uh, Knights of Ren are fucking bums. What's up with that shit? I was hoping that was going to be way cooler than it was. So you've got, so the Knights of Ren are quite literally, uh, the Jedi that Luke was training that, uh, that Kylo took with him and defected with Luke, I guess. The, the ones that defected with Kylo. So, they're supposed to be badass, right? Right? Like, I was expecting these to be, like, Sith, like, lightsaber-wielding cool cats that did cool shit, but turns out they're just bums. Like, they're just insignificant bums. They could have replaced the Knights of Ren with anybody. They have no dialogue. They have no anything. They are, uh, essentially fancy stormtroopers that have medieval weapons that... Ugh, I don't know, man. They're fucking lame. The, uh, the Ren Kylo, uh, the, uh, the Ray Kylo love story kiss thing really got me by surprise. When they kissed, I was like, what? I don't think that made any sense whatsoever. They were trying to kill each other for the longest time, and, and then they became friendly, and then they're, like, lovers all of a sudden. I, man, I don't know. I don't get that one. Maybe I just wasn't paying that much attention, but I felt like that was a little forced. Um... So I, I didn't, I mean, uh, I felt like that was really forced and I feel like it almost uh, invalidated part of the movie. It almost felt like a forced canned on love story kind of thing where I feel like a lot of movies are almost trying to go the opposite and not include a love story because it's so fucking hacky anymore. It's almost like a trope that movies are trying to avoid it. So I can't believe they didn't intentionally avoid that trope. So weird. I thought that was strange. Uh, so anyway, 
even with all those criticisms, the movie was fun. It's a fun movie that will quench your Star Wars thirst of wanting to see cool Star Wars shit happen. Um, I really am happy it's over, though, because I want to see them explore cooler shit in the Star Wars universe. For example, who doesn't want to see a Revan trilogy? Bro, that could be so cool. Three Revan movies. One where he's good, one where he's... Uh, one where he's good, one where he's bad, and one where he's good again, right? Isn't that... Is he, he's good, bad, then good, right? I can't remember. Maybe one where he's good, one where he's neutral, one where he's bad. I don't know. Whatever. He could do... He could have a badass trilogy. That would be cool. I want to see the gray area of Star Wars explored more. I want to see more of the uh, nitty-gritty gray area stuff. Does it have to be the fucking Skywalkers? Like, I'm sick of the goddamn Skywalkers. I am sick of the planet-destroying weapons. I am sick of uh, the Republic as a force battling the Empire as a force. I'd like to see more interpersonal, like, story stuff. Some ambiguity. Uh, for example, the Jedi. Like, the Jedi are very morally amb ambiguous. Like, they're not, like... If you look into what they do, they are not like super fucking good like there's a lot of shady shit they do so i'd like to see more of that gray area explored uh rather than just good guys bad guys bad guy becomes good guy good guy becomes bad guy like uh, come on man like let's let's get that gray area revan trilogy make it happen revan trilogy make it fucking happen that's got to be next come on man so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys thought of the old Rise of Skywalker. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Have a good one.